Hello, my lovelies. How are y'all doing today? My name is Uther Sable Man, and welcome back to Pyre. All right. Hopefully, this one won't be as long as the last video. Um, I kind of want these to stay in the half-hour mark. That that general area. Uh, yesterday's videos were just super long. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> uh, I, I get I get lost in the God of War video, and uh, I, I I just forgot that I was recording for a bit. <laughs> so that that's why that one was long, and why I was so quiet. I'm like, oh shit, I'm recording. I should talk to people. Because I, I don't want it to just, just be the gameplay, like... You're not just here for the game, you're here for the reactions and... And the commentary. <clears throat> Sorry. Figured you didn't want to hear that. <clears throat> allergies again? Um... I mean, it is spring, so my allergies are gonna go fucking nuts. I have seasonal allergies for every season, is how I put it. Uh, but anyway, we're going to get back into the campaign here. Uh, we just did the scorpion rock thingy. In the uh, spring of Jalmir. And now we're heading to the Cairn of Haub. Haub! Sonic, those old-timey horns. Haub! Haub! <laughs> All right, so let's continue our quest for freedom! Oh, hey, people want to talk to me, so we're going to go with, back into the black wagon. Huh? What the hell? Oh, that's right. All right, so let's, let's talk with Jay, shall we? Oh, I didn't even realize I was installing an update. I installed one yesterday, what the hell? Okay, so from now on I'm gonna have to look for those. <laughs> Alright. After having defeated the fate in the right last night, you find Jay off on her own. You said she wants to talk about your decision to exclude her during the conducting of the right. I didn't mean to! I accidentally put in the... I, I accidentally put in, um... What's his name? Headband dude. And I couldn't get him out, and I wanted to keep my team balanced. I wanted to put you in, Jay. I promise. <clears throat> oh, hey, mister. Um, I'm sorry that I used your robes, although they aren't yours, I think. I learned a lot from watching, though. I did. Just being there with all the rest of you. And we prevailed. The others Can were so brave. Time? Maybe someday I can prove... Maybe someday I can be like them. And prove myself to all of you. And to the scribes. But I'll be patient. I promise. She goes outside, and she goes to check on things outside. You sense that she has no misgivings about what transpired, and is more interested now in finding out, or in finding out about the missing minstrel. Yeah, what's going on with that dude? Oh, hey. Jay's scribe catcher. So she does have a thing now. Look at those little beady eyes over here. Alright. Out for a stroll. Cleaning her armor, of course. Off on his own. Okay, well. We are gonna leave this beautiful alien version of New Mexico. There's still no sign of the lone minstrel. Although Jadariel tracks potential signs of movement east the same way you are headed. You consider where to search for him. Okay. Hmm. We could go back to Glue Hive or go to Fall Flat. I don't think this missing mistral could have taken the opposite route to the one you took. Jadariel believes the missing mistral must have taken the same route you took earlier. Uh... I have no feelings about which direction I'm going to go. I also do not have a coin or die to randomize this. Um. Uh, 
I use one of my little bionicle figures. This will be a coin. Maybe I shouldn't use the one that's holding up all my shit. Alrighty. Head, oh, heads, tails, because it's got this little thing sticking up. That's what I'm going to use. Actually, no, no, no. This, this is heads. This is tails. Heads, we go to glue hive. Tails, we go to fall flat. Because it has to fall flat for us to go to fall flat. Fall flat it is. Okay, let me pick that up. Uh, it's, it's fine there. Pick that up after. Arf we go! Sorry. Oh, that was a super long journey, wasn't it? Uh, I just realized I'm not doing a damn thing that uh, that she wants me to do. Uh, I'm not doing that intentionally. <laughs> As you travel through the dry flats of Fall Flat, Hedwin seems more ill at ease than usual. There's still no sign of the missing minstrel. Sorry about this, Jody. I had a hunt. He must have come this way. Would that, would that our hunches be more dependable? Do not fear, we shall find him yet. Why is he so important? He hasn't done a goddamn thing. He's just kind of there. See how to hunt it. <clears throat> Sounds like a hunch to me. Not far, More of a promise. Pick up bits and pieces of the minstrel significance in your fellow exiles. He was there when they first discovered the black wagon, but they refuse to say much more for now. Why? Stop the wagon. Okay, sir. What? How come? Um, because of her. They're coming. They're coming for us. We have to be ready. We have to. Does she think what I think she means? Or does she mean what I think she means? I believe so. Your fellow exiles scramble to prepare the wagon for whatever is out there. Once you help them settle in, perhaps you can learn more of their source of concern. Is it bandits? I wanted to leave this place, damn it. <laughs> They're coming for us. They fear the scribes. They fear the scribes. I know they do. What's she talking about? What's going on? Howlers. Lots of them. Then what are we gonna do? They fear the scribes. Calm yourself, Jay. We shall give them reason to fear us as well. They use the raiments and the books. Indeed. If one of us draws them out and the readers watch. It shall be just like one of our it shall, it shall be just like one of our rights. I'm sorry. Edwin turns to you. It seems we need your help in this, my friend. We just need a volunteer to go with you. I will do it, mister, please. You have to let me. And the scribes, they will protect me, I know they will. Jodai Alex exchanged looks with Heaven. Each of them nods and he was in to signal their approval. Yeah. Alright. Sounds. It means. It means they're here. Oh, by the scribes, they're here. Calm down. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Interrupting my game like that. Okay, so 
maybe I will start jumping here. Wretched beasts. Huh? Just then, Jay spots something creeping. <gasps> Who? What? <gasps> no! <laughs> okay, fine. Scree, kiri, kiri, kiri. The drive him seems both excited and frustrated by something. <laughs> the drive him seems to have a history with your black wagon, and you're beginning to understand. The night imp recognizes you as the new reader of the night wings. seems satisfied at having gotten through to you. And you explain to your companions what little you have learned from him so of him so far. No one argues against letting the creature come along. Inside the wagon, the other drive him stare at him with something like reverence. up a nest that should ward off any further trouble from, from them. He looks forward to the road ahead with everyone and believes it shall be worth it. <laughs> he 
seems to be saying he is happy to be back where he belongs, and he urges you to keep going. He bounds off towards his brethren, settled in the wagon's trappers. Okay. The air had suddenly passed towards the ominous cairn of Haub. Your new friend seems insistent that you take this path very east. Okay. I'm not gonna argue. Oh look, there's the giant skeletons. That, that's what that's what it was. It was a skeleton this time. The first one was a dragon, the second one was a scorpion, this one's just bones. Edwin orders the wagon to halt somewhere in the dry flats of Jomir Valley. There's someone on the road. Be careful everyone. Is it our minstrel? The figure watching the black wagon from afar approaches. Arms spread wide, although a hat and cloak concealed the figure's features. Yep. Then the imp runs, rushes out towards him. Hey. It is. <laughs> the imp is very riled up at the sight of whoever is approaching, though in an almost joyous way. Have you started? So it's good to see you, and you found the others even faster than expected. Is this the Mistral? The imp called Tizo appears very pleased. The lone Mistral turns toward the rest of you. Bon dia, man. Hello, we have not met, but I know who you are, or who you must be. I returned as promptly as I could. Have you walked with the scribes themselves? Because I think maybe you have. Hello, indeed. Er, hello, indeed. You had us worried when you took off. I should knock him back into his slumber. I did not. I did not aim to cause you such concern. As soon, I need to give him a better voice. He has an. He has a bit of an accent when he's talking here. So. <sighs> I did not aim to cause you such concern. As soon as I awakened, I had to notify my client that the night wings have returned. Have you said that? Your client? Son Felice. I, my client, Sandalwood. He is your point of contact, as I understand. You did not find this wagon by mistake. So, what now? You continue down the path. That is why I am here. When we meet my client, I shall explain for now you have a job to do. I assure you that I shall not interfere. But I mean to accompany you. Would that be all right? Edmund and the others exchange looks. Welcome back, minstrel. You got a I am sometimes called Tariq. It is a pleasure to meet you, Nightwings. The lone minstrel returns to the black wagon with your fellow exiles. Okay, then. Karen of Haub is a foreboding sight. It is here that the next rite is to commence. Ligaratus? Rida, if you have a moment, once we are settled on these grounds, I wish to speak with you in the wagon at your leisure. Oh, I can go to the slug market. Let's do that real quick. Mo, oh, Hagashin fine. Oh god, I forgot about this guy. Oh, hey guys! Fancy running into you in the side of the, around this side of the sand. What can I do you for? Yeah. Oh, Ron! Oh, Ron! How'd you make it all this way ahead of us? For Toa Pony. Come now, Mr. Greendale! Their, their voices are kind of similar, I don't like that. Can't just give up all my business secrets, am I right? Miss Dottino de Pentacle What I can do, though, seeing as you been such a good customer and all. Just provide you with a sample of a little something something you might like. Here, check this out, seeing as you bought that moon quest thinger from me last time. Why, I'm just thinking that you could use this. And I got more if you want. 
received a pinch of stardust. It does seem useful. What makes it seem useful exactly? <laughs> ah, that's what. <laughs> Lucrative contract after banishing an adversary. And after banishing an adversary, the bear gets plus one up. So there's many times her right. right. <laughs> I can ask him to be quiet. <laughs> oh, thank God! Some more now, I know just the individual and his dad who can get it. Catch my meaning? Yeah. Just stop by some other time. I want one of these, but I can't decide which one I want. Do so I want to do slightly more damage with a specific attack or just have more defense overall? I want more defense. So I'll be seeing you guys. Uh, let's talk to the minstrel. He wanted to talk. Oh, minstrels are the white loot nearby. He's right fucking here, not nearby. Oh, cool. The lone minstrel and his white loot chronicle the journey of the Nightwings. Why are they... Oh, it's because I never actually looked at them. Okay. Through song. Using it, you may hear glimpses of your past experiences across downside. I can use this to tell how long I've been doing, or how much longer I have. There is a lot of music. Okay, so nothing. This thing stopped fucking blowing because that irritates the shit out of me. Alright, let's talk to this guy. The lone minstrel seems to have situated himself in the wagon. He is very still, not unlike when he was sleeping. Seriously, are they speaking an actual language? Sounds kind of Italian. Kind of, but not really. Anyway, reader, I shall keep this... Uh, reader, I shall keep this brief. As you shortly have a right, you must conduct. You have read something in the book of... in the book of rights, which means that you may know something of my nature. On the contrary, you know not what he means, and he soon senses this. <laughs> Forgive me, I spoke too soon. Suffice it to say, I have served the Nightwings for some time. <laughs> Conduct the rites with glory and you shall achieve what you seek. The lone minstrel nods farewell to you and steps away. That was fucking cryptic. Alright, let's do this. Alright, Karen of Haub. According to the stars, the next rite shall soon commence here. Oh, derp. You and your fellow exiles gather around the sacred site known as the Cairn of Haub, anticipating the hour that the rites are to commence again. All is quiet for a time. <laughs> we got a punk. I'm alright with a little punk here and there. We got some skulls. I'm more of a metalhead myself, but punk's alright. Out of nowhere, charges a gangly cur. He stops short and gives you a mighty, a mighty spear. Psst. Psst. That's Baker. <laughs> 
Fresh paws. Real piece of work. Just don't make eye contact. Oh, sure, now you tell me. Shrubby shot at that. Oh, well. Would you look at... I, I gotta come up with a better. You know what? You know what? Oh, well, would you like... Would you look at this lot? You even got one of our own. So I can get the concerning with the two-leggers. Here, I just scrape there, mate. You realize? It's a bona vista, fam. No, I'm actually gonna give him a junk rat kind of voice. Because the whole the whole mates thing he seems kind of Australian. With the punk ass with the with the punk uh, aesthetic. I'm going junk rat for him. Uh good to see you, Barker. You're looking well. Didn't know you knew about the rights. Uh, can I do junk rat though? I mean I could do his laugh, but. Boy, I know about a lot of things, my friend. For instance, I know you're gonna be very, very sad after we wipe the floor with you here. My Australian's not that great. Nor is my junk rat. Don't know whose back you scratched earn yourself a spot on the high and mighty night wings there. But I'm gonna make sure all of you regret it. Because why not? Keep out them. Sounds good. Sounds good. Kerr Barker laughs at his pack. The Kerr Barker laughs away as his pack stumbles after him. You hear them howling and cackling as the stars above begin to glow. A bit repetitive, but you know what? I can still get into it. Welcome, dear reader, to the splendors of the accursed cairn of Aoub. You shall find the downside grows less pleasant from this point. But first, there's a tradition to uphold. This oh, time you stand it. against the dissidents. Even now they hunger to defeat you. Perhaps not simply to regain their freedom, but to deny you yours. <laughs> I forgot to adjust all those things that I bought. Fuck. As the stars shine down upon you, the pack of curs who stand against this night continue hooting and howling. <laughs> Oi! Come on, you lot! Let's boil some blood! Then Rookie pulls you aside. You may see uh, look, Chum. I don't know how to say this, but I can't go against these guys. Just trust me on this one, okay? Since he means it, make a mental note to ask him about his history with Barker whenever the whenever time is. It's That's all right, Rookie. We can take care of it. See the driver. Begging your pardon, but if you need another to stand at your side this night, I have someone here whom I would recommend. Do not be coy with us, minstrel. On the robes if you intend to stand with us. Oh, I did not mean myself. The rights are not for me. I was instead referring to this little one. Oh, he's so cute! Oh, of course you can join my team! A creature wearing tiny raiments appears at the lonely minstrel's side. Oh, so cute! I think Tizo might just be my new favorite character in this whole thing. Tizo seems to have volunteered to take on your adversaries, the dissidents. Absurd. The imp knows the rights. He knows a great deal. So long as the Nightwings stand together, he shall be by their or he shall be at their side. Though you need not take my word for it. Tizo? Our adversaries seem pretty to be preoccupied. Perhaps you might quickly show our comrades what you can do. The little imp peers at you. He senses connection to the rights as he awaits your guidance. <laughs> Tizo seems very excited to demonstrate some of his favorite tricks. Rigeratus. Reader, influencing Tizo may take some time to getting may take some getting used to. He is inviting you to try. 
another joins your ranks and a mere imp although no it cannot be then we shall see what comes of this new partnership of yours oh nice I can fly over these things Oh, he's so cute! I can implode? Oh, he's so cute! I think he's going straight into my team. Well done as ever, Tito. Scrock! So is happy to lend his support during the rites. If you could use his help. Well then, Rita. We shall conduct the rites in the name of the Nightwings. Or who shall conduct the rites in the name of the Nightwings, not you? Now let us get started. I, I need you to get your quickness going up. Right, you're getting the Ashen Coal because you're definitely going in my party. Put you in my party. And I like having the big beefy tank, so. Right, we're gonna choose you. Jay! Tizo. He's a teaser. Joe Dariel. Cut it is done. <laughs> He's ready to prove himself against the descendants. Time's up, you swill. Come on, boys. Let's get him. Oh, listen to that. Commence. Be gone. Yeah. A favorable start. Oh, okay. I love Tizo. Stand not in glory's path. <laughs> Can't touch this, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, 
Perdition! Huh? Engulfed within the aura. Barker throws himself into the flames. Not fast enough. Yeah! Glory! Ooh, a couple more like that, and this one's good to go. Oh god, he's pissed now. Alright, you lot, that does it! No more fussing around, right? My boys and me, we're proper angry now. Oh dear god. I need Tizo for this. Careful now! Your adversary Barker there seems rather fired shit. up. Your fire weakens. Yeah, no shit. Damn it. I don't think so, bitch. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No! Be so gone, close. Joe Dario. Damn it. Yeah. One more, one more, that's all I fucking need. Your victory's at hand! Hmm. Damn it, it wasn't fast. Damn it. Shame. Oh yeah, I've still got plenty. Oh crap, 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 crap. Bye, Ah! Yes. And it is done. I the love this little imp. Prevail yet again. It was the will of the eight scribes which kept their flame alive. I, I love my imp and I love my demon. They the are staying in this party. ended. Oh wow! I thought. Did we just win? Did we just beat them? <laughs> Tizo is excited to have prevailed in his first right with your group. Well, well. I'll be heap, I'll be a heaping ball of dung. But I just can't believe you shoddy you, you shoddy lot showed us the what for like that. Sorry, I uh, maintaining that voice is a bit difficult. <laughs> My boys and I will have to take you just a tad more serious next time. Till then, you just be sure to tell old Rookie Greentail that yours truly, he remembers everything you hear. The right hey, do the tend you? to teach something of trust. Enlightenment oh, seldom avails itself oh. to simple imps. Oh, feel solemn respect for the rights and all their myriad complexities. While fluttering as Epic Tizo moves much faster than usual, I'm okay with that. At Fantasy Tizo drops a moon sigil, allies can instantly transport them. Transport you from their pyre. Ooh. We'll, we'll go with this one first, because... Actually, no, no, no. That's proving to be as useful as it's, like, I don't need to increase that. I'm already breaking it. Tis the influence of the Imp Scribe. Oh, 
until right. the next run. Splendid. Was your guidance of the night? Or splendid was the guidance of the night? Well, I can. Again, this game makes me unable to speak for whatever reason. Splendid was your guidance of the Nightwings, Rita. Your fellows are fortunate to have found son, one such as you. May you find the freedom that you seek. I'm just gonna say it like that every fucking time. <laughs> Uh, by the end of this, I'm going to want to watch Braveheart, aren't I? <laughs> After defeating the dissidents with the... Oh, that's just their, their logo. With a plum, you return to the wagon to recover from the night's ordeals and figure out how best to proceed. You all right, Rookie? Think so, chum. I just need a little time. Didn't count on Barker being caught up in all this. You don't owe him your conscience. You'll sort things out with him. You always do. Hmm. I do not wish to interrupt, but the dark of night is waning. Rita, would you join us outside, please? find Jadario and the lone minstrel gazing into the sky above the valley, which is beginning to grow pale. You look towards the heavens. That's cool. Milf, the bog star. The bog star burns bright over a fetid cavern in the flagging hands. Yeah. And it is as I feared. We are to press further north, beyond the valley, into flagging hands. Gloomfield, desolate region of the downside, beyond which lies the sea. Okay. The scribes are watching over us. They will protect us wherever we should go. Had you been to flagging hands, you wouldn't you would not say such things. The scribes have surely turned their backs on that place. If I may, the bleakness of the flagging hands shall wear upon you. To be sure, I urge for you to take what rest you can. For you shall indeed need your for you shall need your strength upon the road ahead. Your fellow exiles agree to turn in for the remainder of the night. At dawn, you shall have a you shall have a pressed you will have you shall have to press deeper into the downside <laughs> cannot speak all right well they just said so I think I'm gonna leave that here I'll do it eh, that was a good run you know that, that was actually kind of fun I got a, a solo tower defense type thing. And then, I, I liked the uh, dissidents. I really do. They're <laughs> they're fun. I want to see more of them, but I doubt I will because I haven't seen any of the other teams. Uh, but anyway, that'll do it for this episode. If you liked it, be sure to drop a like and comment down below. Thank and thank you. Until and until next time, stay beautiful. Bye bye.